What's going on, y'all? Country Gaming Network here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play MS Saga A New Dawn. When we last left off, we defeated Breakneck Kowloon, the third general in the Dark Alliance army. Um, we went back and got some treasure, got some Hyzak data from Toha, uh, and now we gotta head back to Isengrad. Uh, I do apologize for the audio on my previous videos. I, I've been reviewing them and seeing that my mic has been a little loud. Um, like I said, you know guys that I've been going through uh, audio issues and all that stuff. So, uh, trying to work out the kinks, I do apologize. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. We got a very special day today here for, for this. Um, Give me one second, trying to find my charger for my other laptop. I found it. Ah, it's gonna make noises. And one second. I don't know why I just don't prepare beforehand. But anyways, guys, we have to head back and talk to Hal. So let's go ahead and do that. Who is that lady? So you found them? I believe one of them appeared just for an instant inside the G system number three. So, it is as we feared. I'm afraid so. Come on, Gravenger, let's get back to the headquarters. We better report this before it's too late. Sorry, but I can't go back. There's something I have to do. Well, uh, what is it? Oh, you mean those kids? All right, I'll report our findings by myself. I'm sorry for always leaving you like this. Don't be, I'm used to it. Besides, I have to look into that other matter anyway. I owe you one. My dog wants to get up here with me. Uh, oh, Tristan, I didn't see you there. Who was that lady? Look, I think it's time we had a talk. That lady you saw is an agent from the Unicorns. She and I work together. A Unicorn agent? And if you work together, that means... Correct, I'm also an agent. But why didn't you tell us? The Unicorns forbid the use of G-Systems to create weapons. I had to conceal my identity in order to use it. But why are you helping us? Because your objectives are the same as ours. The same? What do you mean? We are hunting Vladi Zoth as well. Defeating the Dark Alliance won't put an end to this war. The world won't be safe so long as the man is still in the picture. Since you also sneak this man, seek this man, we decided to assist you. I see. Sorry for hiding this from you. It's okay. We're fighting for the same reasons. So you'll keep helping us, right? Of course, I'm not going anywhere. All right, guys. Now we head it to the uh, see Captain Howe, whatever his name is. Howe. Uh, I always get these wrong. I think it's the top door. Yes, it is. Let's go talk to Mr. Howe. Go talk to our comrade. Tristan, so you're all right, comrade. I haven't heard from you in a long time, so I was starting to get worried. Sorry about that. Our investigation took us all the way to Toha. Toha, is that where Vargas was hiding? Actually, Vargas wasn't the one involved with the Dark Alliance. It was an arms dealer in Toha, a man called Mr. K. But that can't be. Eisengrad's been trading with that man for years. I'm afraid so, and that's not all. Mr. K was actually a general in the Dark Alliance. A Dark Alliance general? Hmm, a general. It must be beyond, it's almost beyond comprehension. I want you to tell me everything exactly as it happened. What exactly went down in Toha? I see, good job, Tristan. This could finally make it possible for our army to defeat the Dark Alliance. You mean you're going to attack? That's right. We finally prepared the full m to mount a full-scale assault. We cannot afford to lose this battle. Tristan, can I count on you to help us? 
Of course, comrade. Vladi Zarth may be the last uh, Alliance general. Our reason for being here in this first place is to take down that man. <sighs> What's the matter? Hmm. Oh, it's nothing, comrade. I need to return to General HQ to get approval for this operation. While I am away, I recommend getting rest for big battle. Yes, sir. The Eisengrad, Eisengrad should send you an official request for help tomorrow. Please stay in Eisengrad until I return. Okay. So, uh, normally I guess you would just walk around and stuff if you haven't already gotten everything out of Eisengrad, but we already have, so you need to come down here and talk to the receptionist. Captain Howe told me everything. Rest easy. You have a big day tomorrow, and then just hit rest. <clears throat> At last, the final comp the final confrontation. Don't worry, Fritz. I'll fight for both of us, Miss Natalie. It won't be long. I'm going to make the enemy pay for what they did. Vladi Zarth, I'm coming for you. So I've got my headset repositioned, my, my mic repositioned up, so... Aeon, you must... Tristan, you must hurry. The Isengrad army is preparing to attack the Dark Alliance base. The time's finally come. So what do we do now? There's no question. We go with them. But I doubt they'll allow us to come, even if we request to... Don't worry. Captain Howe already asked us to help him. He did. That's right. He said he needed us. You know what? This Captain Howe, he looks somewhat familiar. Have I met him before? Have you? Hmm. I can't remember. Captain Howe. Sorry I kept you waiting, Tristan. It looks like you're all here. I have to talk to all of you. It's quite important. Meet me in the operation room on second floor, please. Okay, we're here. Thanks to your help, the Dark Alliance has been dealt a serious blow. However, they remain a major threat. They've deployed a large force to defend their base and would likely suffer heavy losses in a direct frontal attack. We would. Okay, what would you like us to do? I want you to infiltrate their base with me and take out their last general. What? That's a suicide mission. We'd be slaughtered before we even got close to the general. Normally you'd be right, but I have a plan. Chocolate face. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's, I'm not racist or anything, guys. That's just from Borat, so... The Isengrad army will launch an attack and create a version. We'll sneak into the base while they keep the enemy occupied. Occupied. You, you want us to use the army as a decoy? Yes, I've already received approval from General Sosa, who commands the troops. Tristan, will you help us? Um, sure. Agree to help. Great. We have a tough fight ahead of us, but I'm counting on you. I understand it won't be easy. We'll do our best. General Sosa's troops have already headed out, comrade. I'm ready. I'm sorry I cannot give you more time to prepare, but we need to leave right away in order to catch up to with them. Our rendezvous point will be the army's advance base just past Fort Taiga. In the northeast, our first objective is to reach Fort Taiga. Commence operations and prepare to move out. Yes, sir. Tristan, before we leave, there's something I want you to have. Meet me at the mobile suit hangar underground. Oh shit, guys! This is what I make this. This is pretty, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool here. <sighs> What's he gonna give us? We're going to a mobile suit hangar. Is he gonna give us a mobile suit or something? I don't know. But this is where we head to, right here to the hangar, guys. Go to the mobile suit hangar. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed it gives us something good. What's this? It's 
It's Captain Hal's mobile suit. What's it doing here? So this is a Gundam. Surprise, Tristan! They say that the Gundam has the power to change destiny itself. The power to change destiny? I'm sure you've already realized this, but you have a difficult road ahead. Perhaps the hardest you've ever faced, comrade. Don't worry though, the Gundam will clear a path for you. A difficult road, what do you mean? You'll find out soon enough, comrade. But for now, meet me outside of town when you're ready. Captain Hal. Thank you. And there we go, guys. We have received our first Gundam in the game. For free. From Captain Hal. What a nice guy he is. Helping us out big time like that. So let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and equip, see what he has. See, he already comes stock with a Gundam Saber, a Gundam Shield, and a Gundam Rifle. But, uh... I wonder if we could change some parts out on him. Let's go ahead and see if we can't if we can't change some parts out on him, make him just a bit stronger. Cause he we was doing way more damage with that guy in. So if we can modify the parts on here, we definitely will before we head out. Let's see. That's the rest and repair guy. Uh, upgrade parts. Oh, it's a level one. That's why. Yeah, we definitely gotta pump some shit into this here guys look how much it costs to max out its health alright or to max out its attack that's pretty good there guys uh, we're gonna be using this suit for a while so we might as well do what we can to upgrade it pretty pretty good um, let's uh set parts guy in let's take off the Kempfer spikes and the Goyf spikes and let's see if them upgrade the Gundam at all they do so the uh, Gundam's gonna be looking kind of janky but we're going full uh, going full retard here so never go full retard I uh, wonder if the if their arms are any better Let's just put Zaku arm, Zaku arm, and Zaku legs. Um, let's go. Guy in arm sure does. Guy in arm. He's not going to be much of a threat in the the department of attacking, but or ranged attack. But his melee is still going to be banging. So this is this is gonna be my setup just for now. We may switch it back and just pull straight uh, parts like that. But um, for now, let's see what we can do with upgrading the gun cannon a bit here. What does the Gundam armor do? It's just upgrade speed, really. I mean, the Hyzek spikes are good, but is there anything? No. All right, let me change the color real, real quick on the Gundam. Uh, legs will be white. We're going to try to stick with the Gundam theme here. See, that white is so ugly compared to the regular white, but... We'll just roll with what we get, guys. Um, were these blue? I thought these were blue. Yeah, I think they were blue as well. So that doesn't look too bad. Um, and that torso will stay default. I know it's kind of a it's kind of a shame to just do that to Gundam, but you would think they'd be stronger. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and head on out of here. Uh, one last thing. It's doing 237. I don't even think we could put that beam spike or that uh, heavy impact lance on. No, we can't. We can't. It won't fit. There's no way it'll fit. So it would probably fit on Gravenger. Let's just see. 
Nope, won't fit on Gravenger either. Hmm. Hmm. All right, for now we'll leave it like it is, but I'll probably change him to into the. No, I'm not. I don't know, man. We'll wait for the next MS config and set that up. For now, I just wanted to do a quick, quick tweak to the Gundam. Because Hal will be joining our party right here. There you are, Tristan. Let's go teach the Dark Alliance a lesson. Our destination, the advanced base Fall Dust. Fall Dust lies just beyond Fort Taiga to the northeast. Okay. Hal joins your party. Cool. Now that we're all in this together, there's no need to stand, stay on ceremony. We're all equal in my book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'll keep that in mind. That's the spirit. Say, why is it you're always wearing that mask? Why don't you take it off for once? Trim it. Just because we're friends now doesn't mean you can ask him anything. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you haven't wondered the same thing. Trimmy, I would listen to Gravenger. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Enough already, everyone. Don't you know anything about manners? Come on, let's go. Alright, guys. So we are headed... to Fort Taiga. Um... Wow, so the world map really isn't much of, of help. Um, I think he said to the northeast is where we want to head from here. So we didn't want to go back in town, that's for, for sure. But uh, I'll cut out all of the all of the battling to get to Fort Taiga. Because this is all going to be random crap garbage uh, enemies here. So what I'll do is once we get to the door of front Ty uh, Fort Taiga, I will cut back. Alright guys, and we're back. Um, we're not to Fort Taiga yet, but I've been sitting here for 25 minutes looking for where it's at. The walkthrough doesn't say anything about where to exactly go, so I will explain to you how to get here. Because all it says is head to the northeast. Uh, and if you head to the northeast from Isengrad, where it leaves you, you wind up going nowhere and blanking out into, into walls. So what you have to do is you have to go to Port Marley and then head northeast of Port Marley and keep just keep heading northeast until you see a burnt village and once you're in that burnt village area you just keep heading northeast and then you get here into the snow area uh, and once you reach the snow you're close by so you just keep heading up north we are gonna get into some battles that's no problem um, what we do now is we try to find Fort Taiga so just keep walking around I'll cut this out I was just wanting to let y'all know okay so this is new enemies we have Arctic Zaku so we'll go ahead and show these off see how strong these guys are here I went ahead and made some some minor adjustments they are rather strong takes two hits to kill them so I went ahead and put the Gundam the Gundam rifle on her That was the wrong thing to do. But yeah, guys, these are the Arctic Zakus. Just to show them off here real quick. So we'll be able to skip through other battles with this. Um, after this battle, what I'll do is I'll just cut it to Fort Taiga. I just wanted to show you that... Um, look at the XP and, and credits there, guys. That's pretty darn good there. Um, actually, I'll show off the next battle even though it's probably gonna be nothing because we'll get two level ups here um, let's just keep walking around there's Fort Taiga that's where we want so let's get this last battle in here guys and then I will uh, we'll just head on in that took forever to find alright and here's some new uh, cold climate GM's okay that's cool um, same thing as before just unload everybody on one we're not gonna unload everybody on one person so we'll just go two on one and then one on another because I'm pretty sure he could take him out with the Gundam by itself well one of them short guns would be nice wouldn't it be 
real nice. Okay, I thought in the beginning of a game it says if you're doing a ranged attack, you can't... Well, we've been benefit from it too, so that's not a big deal. There we go, guys. Got two level ups. Level 20. Aeon Learn Gat Gatlin Fire. Cool. And uh, we got a Repair Kit DX. Pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and head on into Fort Taiga. This is Fort Taiga. Fall dust, our dance base, lies just beyond. It's said to be careful when you're in China near Japan. Uh, I guess that was around the tree area because it says sometimes there's a bug of random battles where you, you fight when roaming in Japan later and the game can be fought in China. So uh, we may go back and actually explore that out there, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to go do that. Uh, let's see if we can't find that battle. It says it's not in the snowy area. The snowy area is Russia, and you encounter Arctic Zaku's cold climate GMs, cold GM Kai, golden GM, speed armor, and that's pretty much it. But in this area out here, it says sometimes we can encounter hard, hard, hard enemies. So let's see what we can find. All right, guys. So we're back at Fort Taiga now. Um, didn't get anything. Didn't get any. Didn't get any of those weird buggy encounters like the the uh, walkthrough said. So we're not really going to worry about it. We're just going to continue on through here. I've been recording for a very long time. I'm almost at an hour, and y'all won't see it because it'll only be uh, maybe I don't know, 10 minutes worth really, or about 20 minutes, 30 minutes video right now. Let's see what this long range rifle is. Long rifle. No, it said long range rifle, right? Yeah, long range rifle. Where is it? Right here. It's 204. Man, I can't put that on nobody. Oh well. We'll sort it all out later. There's no random encounters through here, guys, so you just keep the doors open. Head on through. Hey, keep on heading on through. And we'll go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I know it wasn't much, but uh, we tried. Uh, I know you're probably only going to be like 15, 20 minute episode, but that's what we normally do here. Like I said, I do apologize. But hey, we got a Gundam in this in this episode. So, talked to Hal, did some talking to some people, and headed on over to Fort Tyga. Like I said, remember, go to Port Marley and then head northeast. That's the best way to do it to get here. Right, guys, and with that, we'll go ahead and end the episode. This is Country Gaming Network, signing off. See y'all later.